uh, what I want to do, I want to take a look at how the inductance value affects the THD. So what we want to do, we want to loop through different values of the inductance and set the measure the PhD, uh, the THD, measure the THD and then make a plot out of it. So first of all, we need to create the THD block here. THD of the current. Let's set some parameters here, like sampling time, let's make it um, 10 microseconds. And fundamental frequency in our case is 50 Hertz. <coughs> And then, yeah, these two guys we don't need anymore. We already had enough fun with them. Or, no. Okay. So now we need to simulate. Let's simulate just once. And. save uh, the simulation output to the variable called THD. Okay, it's done. So let's see what THD shows us. Okay, it shows us a load of different things and then maybe somewhere in the end we'll get our value of the THD. Let's compare it with the simulation here. So I create, I select the course source. I select delta here and THT. So delta I would set 0, 0, 002 for 50 hertz and the THT for the current 0, 0, 0028 and here 0, 0, 0028. So it's very close. I think it's enough to it's enough for us. So yeah what we want to do here to do something like this and then let's create THD values and make it as an array and every time we loop through this we append the THD value of the current simulation to the end and also let's loop through inductances here let's create the list of inductances. For this I will use NumPy library and inductance in space from this value now to this value. Let's create 100 of them and then for L in L And value round. Okay, I think now it should be fine. Um, let's create this and then plot L and THD values. Let's see. So we see how the ripple of the output current changes as we change and increase the inductance. And we also can track the inductance value here. Okay, maybe we can speed up this part. Okay, so we just uh, ran 100 simulations. And we can see how um, the THD changes as we increase uh, the inductance from 100 micro Henry to 3 milli Henry. So we see this very nice curve. There is also one more interesting thing we can do. Okay, let's increase the number of inductance so we don't loop through it too much. We can work with the scope here. So we need to know the name of the scope and then we access it with the command plex scope 
and again we need to attach model so specify the path to the scope ok let's run it and something is wrong I think maybe we need to put some parameters here let's use let's open the scope and select clear traces and we yeah let's save trace and run it again okay so now it's fine so there are uh, several interesting comments for scope let's put this one here so we update it every time we go through it okay after simulation we can actually save the trace or it's called whole traces whole trace and then we can set the name of this trace so let's call it l equals and here we put this one and if we simulate it now yeah we see that the traces are held and we see that the name of the inductances or the trace name we set here is actually changing yeah, and here we can see the THD change as well okay so there's another interesting thing we can do we can save it all in CSV data okay we can definitely take all of the values in Python and then save it to CSV or we can use the to file block here also to save it to CSV so I think that should be enough for now and uh, let me know in the comments maybe there is something else we could take a look at thank you and don't forget to subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up bye